Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. Good day everybody, Michael Posnick here, Century 21 Northumberland, your high definition real estate agent. Today we're doing a bit of a mini series on a piece of property that's about 50 acres that I've assisted a client for the last two years to develop. We finally have our stamped approvals and the lots are going to go out between $29,000 for a back lot to $199,000 for a massive six acre estate lot. So let's go take a look. So this is Baker Shore Road here. We're just going to take a right. Hopefully we'll have some accessibility. It's minus seven in the middle of December. Typically the roads in the winter are easier to pass than most people think. The biggest challenge is in the spring when the frost comes out of the ground. And the property that we've developed, or in the process of developing, is up here on the left, where, the, where you see the trees. And the, the least expensive lots would be in those trees for $29,000. And then of course the most expensive waterfront lots would be, or lot would be on the water for $199, and then there's some waterfront lots for $129, $139. And uh, today our, our purpose is to find out where we're going to put the road that runs along the waterfront lots. It should be to my left somewhere. So this is what you see. Those are my anti-lock brakes telling me I'm on my way into the water. And the subdivision is just here to our left. As you can see, there's survey markers everywhere. And this is going to be quite the spot. The nice thing now is you can buy in at a fairly low entry point prior to the roads being constructed. Somewhere around lot three here. This would be lot, I think it said four, I couldn't read it. We're just going to go down to the end and turn around here. There are lots that continue into those trees, I believe. In the distance there, we see the St. Patrick's Church. We see the bridge. And our subject property is right here. This is what the water frontage of the bank would look like for the uh, waterfront lots. And then just to our left is Baker Shore Road, which comes right down to the water. This would be a view standing at the bottom of the road. So this would be the view that you'd get from most of the lots on the water. Some cottages in the distance and waterfront homes. For the most part, pretty uh, private and secluded. On this December day, it's minus eight degrees Celsius. Looking to the south now. So this is the uh, pin I discovered that's right at the front of the corner lot. I think it's labeled lot number two. And our stakes are labeled with the lot numbers and they're also labeled with the uh, pin numbers. This would be the frontage. So the pin is just in the bush there. And this would be the side of lot number two. And my truck is just behind that pin that we just saw. Then this road goes right down to the water. I don't know if you can see that on the pin, but it looks like 2570 is written on it. Which, if you look on a survey, typically any pin that's been placed, physically installed, is a square, uh, filled in square. I mean, it's just a dark square. So that is on the survey then. And then we just need to go up here to our next pin, looking up Baker Shore Road. So where my uh, little measuring wheel is there, that's one side of the road we're going to be constructing. And then this would be lot number one, which you can get access off of Baker Shore Road. Some pretty mature trees. My compliments to the prior vendor and not ripping the trees down. So this is a little easier to illustrate. There's your physically placed pin, which usually has the surveyor's name and date or year on it. And then they've got it marked here. 09-1 and then on the side they've got 2568 
so that should conform to our survey as one side of the entrance road. So there's the other pin, 2567. So our road is going to go in between these two pins and we'll place some signage on either side so the construction company can find them. This is the uh, type of tape measure we use today. I prefer GPS but the government computer is offline so we couldn't use uh, that to locate our pin which is right there. Now we're going to go inside there. The road we're building is going to be about 500 feet long. We've got some big trees to get rid of. So we've got our road marked. It will run right between this sign and this one. And they're right beside the markers. This is the marker furthest away from the water, which is 2567. So as we look around, I mean, there's a lot of very mature trees here. If someone's looking for some firewood and some a winter project, maybe we can work out a deal. It's kind of interesting when you're in this forest because you can hear wildlife moving around. You never know what you're going to come across. Like this. <coughs> like this rubber chicken I found here. Obviously indigenous to the, uh, the local area. I am not going to be able to get any further in here. This is a very mature forest. There's a lot of big trees in here. So we may end up having to hire a logging company to uh, clear the road. Further up the road, I was able to find this uh, historic pathway. Not sure what the purpose was, but we're going to take a walk and see what we can find at the end. Maybe there's hidden gold. It's absolutely beautiful in here. Lots of little Christmas trees. This being Christmas, certainly very appropriate. And uh, again, a lot of mature growth. Trees are a little thinner back here than they were in the front. See lots of rabbit footprints. Oh, there's a rabbit, a white one. I was too slow. Oh, neat. I don't know if you can see that. But we got a hawk that was chasing a rabbit. So we're getting closer to the end of the trail, but on the left hand side, the trees are fairly thin. There's a lot of birch. And then on the right hand side, there's absolutely a difference. You get right into mature trees. So I'm almost wondering if this is an old property line and someone had deforested the one side on my right. There's the way we came in. Found a marker here. It looks like 15s to my left, 16s to my right. It ends in, looks like 2597. It seems that our trail ends there. We'll see what marker number that is. This would be 2588. And that's the way we came in right there. After doing some research and referencing to the survey, I have determined that this would be our cold cul-de-sac at the end of Lydia Lane. So this is the end of the road. They've obviously utilized the old trail. So that concludes part one of our little mini-series on property development here in PEI. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it, embed it, like it, and then go over to michaelshomes.com and subscribe to my weekly newsletter for PEI real estate tips, tricks, and traps at michaelshomes.com. Thank you, have a great day, and remember to buy it right.